Well, howdy, y'all. It's Frightman, and I am here to keep you spooktacular. Now, today I want to talk about where does a home hunter store everything? And it's a question that gets asked a lot. So we're going to answer that question. But before we do, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your watch hours. Because without you on YouTube, there will be no me. I enjoy what I did. It's been an interesting journey. It was really my first year to get into it and try to pull this off. I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, you know, I didn't hit um, monetization, but that's to be expected in the first year. So hopefully next year we'll get to grow bigger. Make sure that you share out this channel with anybody that you know that likes Halloween. I have invested in a new camera, some new lighting. I learned a lot this year, so I'm sure I'll be able to do a much better job for you in the following 2024 Halloween season, which we can't wait to get started. I know you're waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. We'll figure out what we do between now and then. <laughs> now to carry on with the answer to that question that every home hunter gets asked. I promise you every year I get asked. Where do you store all this stuff? Well, the studio that I'm in happens to be a spare bedroom in my house. So I have a guest bedroom. I have my primary bedroom, but I also have a third bedroom. Luckily for me, I don't have anybody to put in that third bedroom. So that's where the studio is located. That's also what has uh, become a big storage area. I would like to have a storage offsite, like a storage unit. But they're so dang expensive that for right now, we're just keeping everything from home at home. So in this bedroom behind this backdrop, there are two closets. So those closets have basically sliding doors on them. And these two closets are filled with Halloween. That's everything in this closet and everything in that closet is just Halloween. That's part one. Now, as I pan around through the studio room, this room was originally dedicated to a theme park here. Uh, so I'm a big roller coaster fan too. The theme park was called Six Flags Astroworld and it was shut down. And I have a lot of uh, memories from that park here in this room. But from a perspective of Halloween, now we're starting to hit that. So these two big boxes would be Halloween, the mannequins Halloween, Pretty much everything in this corner in these boxes is all of my animatronics. So it's not horrible. It is taking up um, a decent amount of room, but it's not horrible. I still have plenty of room here in the studio. Uh, forgive the uh, toilet paper and the tissue. Those are from my stockpile from COVID days, and I have been running off of those packs for years now. From a standpoint of the yard, it is 100% cleaned up. The house is 100% cleaned up. The garage is 100% cleaned up. And I can tell you, it feels really odd not having all that stuff out here in the yard. It's like, it's so, it becomes such a part of you for that entire month that when you really take it down, it kind of takes a while to kind of get used to having things back the way that they were. Now, in my garage, I am fortunate enough to have a big pull-down ladder in the roof that goes to the attic. So that is another place where we have lots of Halloween stuff up in storage. In the back of the garage, there is also another storage area, which is really where the water heater lives, but it allows me to store more things. So you can see I have more and more storage boxes here. The electric chair is way back over here somewhere <laughs> underneath all of this stuff. And my um, wheelchair is here, but all of these boxes are Halloween as well. So that is another place where I get to store stuff. And last but not least from a storage area, I have the backyard. So I have purchased a couple of these um, cemetery markers from... Home Depot and they don't fall down, right? They're a hard plastic. So I have decided that I will just have some cemetery parts permanently here in the backyard. So we have some tombstones over there. We have some tombstones over here. 
We have a gargoyle and a guy coming up out of the ground. And over here, I have my lovely three and a half foot skull. Now, I'm sure some people would consider me to be crazy to have this stuff sitting out in the yard year round. And um, I wouldn't necessarily go against that thought. So I think my answer to storage is probably the same as any home haunter. We put the stuff anywhere we can find to put it. Um, and that's just the reality of it. Unless you want to get a storage unit, you're going to find a place to put the stuff. Once again, I want to say thank you for being part of the Fright Man family. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you watching. And I cannot wait until we get to 2024. If you have any ideas on what we might do between now and 2024, I have a few. But if you have any ideas, put it in the comments and let me know. And until next time, stay spooky, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>